Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Episode 9, Craft Sunday. Have you ever played a game where you told the story with a friend while only using one word at a time? Here it goes. Dot, dot, dot. Think. You. For. Coming. To. Kids. Church. Online. Today. We. Will. Be. Singing. To. Songs. About. Jesus. Because. We. Love. Him. So. Much. <laughs> then. We. Will. Make. Palm. Branches. Because. It. Is. Almost. Palm Sunday. And we are also going <laughs> to make donkeys. Then we will practice our Bible verse. It is so awesome. <laughs> To practice. <laughs> it's so funny when you think it's going somewhere and it goes somewhere totally. You've never played this game? <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going to say, it's so awesome to be with you today. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's do that. so awesome to practice.
Welcome back friends, it's Mr. Jericho and Miss Robin. Today we are gonna work on our craft. So you guys um, should have gotten the bags the first Sunday of the month. And if not, you can go gather some supplies with you around the house. We are putting together a craft because this month, at the very end of the month, we are celebrating Palm Sunday where um, people waved palm branches to welcome Jesus into Jerusalem on his way to the cross. So, Miss Robin, what do we need for our supplies? So, for our supplies, you will need um, green paper. You could use white paper and color it in, but um, we are using green and you need five pieces of that, uh, big enough to make a handprint, um, and then a brown crayon, um, a tongue depressor or a popsicle stick, and tape. Scissors oh, to cut. and scissors to cut. Miss Robin, what do I do if I don't have green paper at home? Um, you can just use white paper. You could even use like printer paper and then you can just color it green with crayons. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so our first step is gathering our supplies, right? So you can pause the video and go get your stuff and unpause the video when you get back and ready for the next step. What's our next step? Okay, so we now have all of our supplies. Uh, so we are going to start off by tracing our hand on our pieces of paper. Yeah. So um, I don't need my paper to be that big, so I'm actually going to fold it over. I think our friends got like a something this size. Yeah, it was about this size, right? Uh -huh. So, and then um, I am just going to put my hand down on it. And you can even use your brown crayon that we already have um, to trace your hand. And then you just trace it. Okay, so here I have my hand traced on my green paper. Mom and dad may have had to help you trace that hand. It can be a little tricky for the younger ones. And uh, now that I have it, I only need to do it one time. I'm not that strong with the scissors, so I'm gonna trace some more hands. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna just cut one whole pack out. Um, Mr. Jericho is going to do it a little bit differently, so. What's really cool is we all have different hands, and so God made us all different. So it's okay that yours looks different when you trace your hands. It might look different from when your brother or sister make it. I'm ready. I think You're I'm ready? Gonna, I'm gonna put two together. Okay. And cut, cut. What do we do next? Okay, so now we are gonna cut out our hands, which if you are a preschooler, that might be a little bit difficult to do. So you can always ask mom and dad to help with this. Um, so now I'm just gonna start cutting out my hands. Mr. Jericho, why did they wave palm branches when Jesus came? Well, Back in the day, that is how they welcomed kings coming back from war. So if they were to welcome a king back, they would have a parade, kind of like if we had a parade for our Super Bowl um, winners, you know, for when people play the sporting events, and um, they would bring the trophy back to town, and so it would be this whole thing. Back in the day, what they did was they took their coats, laid it on the ground, they took palm branches, and they were just waving it. Waving it around. So they thought Jesus was the king. Mm-hmm. They were waving their palm branches and saying, they were, they were saying, king, save us, save us. They got that. It's important to keep your area organized and clean. Since I folded mine, my hands are all still stuck together, so I actually have to cut right down the middle as well. And that will cut my hands so that I have all of the hands I need. So if you have white paper at home, you can trace your hand, cut it, and then color it. Maybe grab some green crayons. And you can even color it different shades of green too, because palm branches aren't all the same color. Right. Okay, we have all of our hands. Uh, so now we need to get the branch part ready. So I am going to take my giant popsicle stick and I'm gonna color it brown. So just take my crayon and just color it. Alrighty.
What do we do next? Okay, so now that we've colored our popsicle stick, uh, now it's time for us to start attaching our leaves. So each handprint is like a part of the leaf. Um, so we're just gonna do one at a time and we're going to start either gluing them or taping them to the popsicle stick. And we'll end up fanning them out so that they spread all around the, um, the branch. And then when I'm done with mine, I'm just adding a little bit more tape um, so that they stick to each other as well. So we're gonna need to use the this craft for next week. So make sure to save it. Why? Because, because next Sunday we'll be celebrating Palm Sunday. <gasps> and we'll be way palm branches to our king. Woo! It's like a nice fan, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very nice. Hey, yours looks really cool. I really like yours, too. You got to squint. There's that squint <laughs> test. Now, um, for Palm Sunday, if I'm coming to Sunday school, should I bring mine with me? Yeah. And We're then gonna I make can one. wave it? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. That is our craft number one. We also have another craft for you guys, and it is for our clothespin donkey craft. So part of the story is that Jesus comes and people are waving their palm branches, but Jesus also says, hey, I want you to go into town and get a donkey um, that um, I will ride in. So instead of a white horse, the king comes and um, comes into town in victory, Jesus in his humility says, hey, let's get a servant animal like a donkey. So what do we need, Miss Robin? Okay, so um, we need clothespins. Um, you need two clothespins to do your activity and those should have been included in your bags if you got those. Um, and then also the cut out of the donkey. And then um, a gray and black crayon or a gray and black marker, which we're going to uh, be using. And then we don't even need the tape this time. And then the scissors again. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut out our donkey. And you just cut along the line, the outline of the donkey. And same thing, if you need help with this, you can always ask mom and dad or an older brother and sister to cut out your donkey for you. Miss Robin, why is my donkey missing legs? Well, because we're going to be using the clothespins to be the donkey's legs. Nice. So don't worry, your donkey will be able to walk in just a little bit. Okay, so now that we have our donkeys cut out, um, we can color our donkey. Remember, use a crayon or a marker. And uh, then we actually need it to uh, color what will be their legs. So, all right. So, I'm going to use a marker. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, now that we've colored our donkey, it's time to um, color the legs. So um, for me, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to color the bottom, the hoof, um, which is the part that is separated. Um, I'm going to color that black on the bottom, like his hoof, and then gray on top. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I have both of my donkey's legs done. So I can attach the legs to the donkey's body. So I just clip them into place on the donkey's body. And there we go. And if you have yarn, you could glue yarn where the hair goes and you could glue on googly eyes um, to the, the body, to the face. Um, but your little donkey is done. 
Oh, I'm super happy with mine. That looks really cool, Miss Robin. Yeah, I really love your zebra donkey. My zebra donkey. It's very cool, Mr. Jericho. Yeah. Get creative. <laughs> Maybe your donkey could have a unicorn or something. A unicorn horn. <laughs> there it goes. Here's our two crafts. Woohoo! Make for sure to Palm save Sunday. them for Palm Sunday. All right. And if you can't join us for Palm Sunday, make sure um, parents take a video of your kiddos waving some palm branches. We'll be singing Hosanna for March 28th. Yeah. So have them send the video to us and we will uh, put it in the service on March 28th. Our Bible verse. It is going to... <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry. It is going to be awesome. The <laughs> The verse is from where? What? We're just gonna do it. Oh right now? Yeah. But we said we're gonna end it with it. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Put your hands together and say Isaiah 53 5 By his wounds we have We are you. <laughs> we are healed. Say it again. Together. Isaiah, Isaiah 53 5. By his wounds, we are healed. Thank you for joining us today. For Kids Church Online. Hi. Boys. And girls. <laughs> you gotta keep it straight. I can't believe we're doing I can't believe we're doing it. Good. <laughs> Morning. Hello. We do one at a time. One word at a time. I know, but you like, I keep being prepared for the last one, and then you change it on me. Okay, you start. You start. <laughs> you start with something new. <laughs> Hello. Everyone. Thank you for coming to... <laughs> Kids. Kids. I was going to say church. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Once. What? <laughs> what? Once there was. <laughs> He's doing this on purpose. Okay. Just to mess me okay, up. Okay, ready? Okay. <clears throat> Think. You. For. Coming. To. Kids. Church. Online. We are going to make <laughs> What are we making? I thought we were going to sing two songs first. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>